and our very own pioneer, Dr. Melissa Thomas, the first African American principal at Tupelo High School. So I grew up in a very small community. Um, it was a community where poverty had somewhat taken over. Um, not only my family, but other families were just having a difficult time getting by and making ends meet. Um, my mom and dad were great parents, are great parents who um, worked very hard, but even sometimes with working very hard, there still was just not enough. Fun, but hard. Um, hard because we didn't have many of the resources that we needed to, um, to get through the day. And sometimes, you know, we, we just lack the things that, that we wanted, the things that we needed. But it was also fun because it was loving. We had each other to play with. I mean, we did everything together. And so we pretty much, not only were we sisters, we became best friends. She was a nice, you know, very nice person. And she always, uh, always had big dreams. And coming up as a kid, uh, her and my other three children, she, uh, she always let me know that she wanted to go to college, even at the age of about eight or nine years old. So I'm glad the Lord blessed her and that she went on and kind of did a wonderful thing. As a kid, she was always helping everybody else. She was always humble. And as a kid, they, uh, I kept them in every sport that I could get them. They was always playing softball and basketball, running track. And they, we grew up in a four-room house, but we didn't have a whole lot but we had a whole lot of love. Mm, she's very supportive. If I want to try something new, I know she'll be the first person to help me do it. She's been a very inspiring person uh, in my life. Uh, she's been someone that I can run to any time of need. Uh, she's always helped me with schoolwork. Uh, any questions that I have for her, she was always an open resource. Uh, she do so much. Uh, sometimes I don't see how she even does it all. And I always, my gripe with her all the time to get some rest. But she's always on the go, trying to do something, either with the kids, with other kids, with families. It's always some, somebody else, you know. But after so long, you know, that's just her. So that's just her comfort zone, and that's how she gets through with everything. I've, I've seen her at, like, the football games, her interacting with the cheerleaders and the football players and stuff. So I've, I've seen her at a lot of um, activities for school. Um, grateful is more so what I feel. Um, I don't necessarily set out to break barriers and do, I simply want to work and do a good job at what I've been assigned to do. On the flip side of that, I think being a first African American person to hold this job and being the first female is truly a blessing and it opens a door that even though I'm the first, I'm very confident that I won't be the last because we have several people. We are raising ladies, young ladies, um, African American students, minority students. Um, we're raising students that are going to lead in amazing ways and they'll do more than I was ever capable of doing. I'm just thankful that I had an opportunity to open the door. Well, at first, I didn't think she was serious about it. And then she never gave up. And so that's why I thought then, that's when I got behind her then. Because she was always saying she wanted to be this and she wanted to be that. And I would used to tell her, you've been in school ever since you graduated. <laughs> but uh, she kept on, she just kept going. Good job. Awesome job. What they doing,
Well, I always have to put it up whenever, whatever she decides that she want to do. She always knows that I'm going to be right there 100 percent behind her. And there's no doubt that she can, you know, that she can do the job and everything. She's very well qualified for the job. So my prayers and my, you know, I'm with her. Whatever she decides to do, I know it's going to be good. So I'm going to stand right behind her and support her 100 percent. Go for it. That wasn't my calling. <laughs> but it was hers, and uh, to do whatever she needed to do to get the the uh, credentials to be a principal, and that's what she went and did. So, you know, in the very beginning, I knew she was on the path to do something. To me, I didn't really have to make a sacrifice. Cause me and her, we both got together. It really was a partnership. So I didn't I didn't feel like it. Nothing was a sacrifice. Well, the most current sacrifice that I made was um, this school year where I had to move um, from Tupelo High School and started the school year off at Structure Day Program. Um, that was the first sacrifice, the most current sacrifice, but um, growing up as a child, we both pretty much made sacrifices for each other to be where we are today. I had some really good teachers and some really good family members that all poured into me and sort of encouraged me um, along the way, but I'd have to say the one person that I met in third grade, um, I attended her basketball camp, uh, Carrie Ball Williamson, and uh, I was nine years old, and from that moment, uh, her influence and her personalities and her accomplishments kind of um, sparked an interest in me and sort of uh, gave me a role model to look forward to and something to achieve and work hard towards. And so we became good friends even at an early age and I ended up playing college basketball for her. And even today, she's probably one of the people that I call and lean on when I need advice, when I need encouragement, um, or when I need to just laugh. That I'm very proud of her, keep up the good work keep trusting in the Lord, and good things will happen for you. Thing that I always tell them right now, keep God first and love Him and never get above yourself. Just stay humble. Independent. Strong. Smart. She's intelligent. She's energetic. She's optimistic. Amazing. Loving. Loving, kind person. Mm inspiring. She's not going to depend on anyone else. She's going to get it done how she wants it and the way she wants it. Because she can push through anything. She worked very hard to accomplish what she did right now. So it's just amazing how she keeps everything together and keeps it going <laughs> with just a little amount of rest. But you know what, That's her, that makes her day and I'm, I'm there to support it, whatever makes her happy. She's full of love. There's no way you can always come up with one word because she's just so many things, especially to me. And so um, maybe I could put all of it into she's, she's a godly woman and love. That's what she displays to every, everybody is love. I mean, uh, she just leads the way for her younger uh, nephews and uh, grandkids, and I'm just inspired by that. Tremendous wife, tremendous person. That's my friend also, you know, and I'm proud to say that. Uh, we can talk about anything. Uh, we love the kids, which is our common bond, you know, and we also love each other. So, just a tremendous woman. Uh, I truly must say I, I admire her. I'm happy for her. I'm proud of her. I'm proud to be her sister. Dr. Melissa Thomas was the first African-American woman principal at Tupelo High School. She has been a teacher, coach, principal, and curriculum director. However, she believes her role as a principal is her true calling. 